Justine Mealy Band, the wife of the Labour leader, has said the personal attacks her husband has faced will get really vicious during the election. In an exclusive BBC interview, she said she feared criticism of her husband would get really personal but that she was totally up for this fight. She said she wanted to defend the principle of decency in public life. She revealed her husband's biggest regret about the job of leading labor was not seeing the children enough. In her first major TV interview, MRS Mealyband told the BBC's deputy political editor James Landale, in the second of his profiles of the party leaders, that she believed personal attacks on her husband would get worse in the coming weeks. I think over the next couple of months it's going to get really vicious, really personal, but I'm totally up for this fight, she said decency. This, she added, was because I think this goes way beyond Ed as an individual, I think it's about whether decencies and principle count for something in political life, wherever you are on the political spectrum. If you ask my why I am up for a fight, I am fighting not just for Ed but I am fighting for a principle of decency in public life. MRS Mealy Band, a barrister who married the Labour leader in 2011, said the nature of the attacks on her husband had come as no surprise to her. If I am really honest, I would be a lot more worried if quite a lot of the people who were attacking him were supporting him. I think if you are going to stand up to some powerful people in this country and declare a pretty serious intent to bring about change, you are going to get attacked. To help their sons Daniel and Samuel understand what their father does, she said the couple have explained that their dad leads the red team and at home there's quite a lot of chats about what the red team's doing and who the red team's helping, I hope they get a sense that he is doing something worthwhile. She added, probably his biggest regret about the job is not seeing the children enough or worrying he does not see the children as much as he would like. Tested. Asked what it was like to be the spouse of a prominent politician, she said it was daunting to begin with as there is no rule book. She said she was not modeling herself on any other politician's wife or husband and was picking her way through and occasionally popping in and out of focus while continuing with her professional career. The only reason I first gave a speech to Labour Party members at a Labour Party conference was because I was so worried that by about three years in all they knew about me was a dress I wore to Ed's speech. I thought I really want to reassure people that I am in fact more than a dress. MRS Mealy Band said her husband had not changed much since he became Labour leader four years ago. I don't think he has changed as much as he has been tested and probably what I saw before more people see now. The characteristics that people see now, the values, the determination to stand up to people, to force through change. None of that is a surprise to me, because I saw those characteristics before. Asked if people underestimated her husband to begin with. She replied, I think they probably have done, definitely. Whether they do now, I don't know. Life at home. When not engaged in politics, MRS Mealy Band said her husband likes to watch TV, read his children's stories and liked a good Chinese takeaway. In the evenings we talk about the day with each other, I tell him about my day, my work, he tells me about his day, but quite often we talk about the kids. Among recent box sets that the couple were working there through, she revealed, was the BBC comedy series episodes and Scandinavian crime drama The Killing. Although the couple shared the chores, she said they were equally as bad at DIY. She said she had not thought about what life would be like in Downing Street should Labour win power, insisting that as a working mother with a husband in a high-profile job she largely operated on a 48-hour time frame.